Find the maximum area of an isosceles triangle inscribed inside the ellipse with one of the vertices of the triangle lying at the end of the major axis as shown in the figure. So let A greater than B. So X axis will be major axis. This gives us two possibility for the vertex of the triangle to lie on the major axis. The two vertex can be minus A comma 0 or A comma 0. Let's take A comma 0 as the vertex. Now as the triangle is an isosceles triangle, the other two vertices will be B and C. So let the coordinate of B be x comma y and by symmetricity the coordinates of C will be x comma minus y. Now let's observe the equation of the ellipse. From this by rearranging we will find out y in terms of x. So we take x square by a square to the right hand side then multiply both the sides with b square and then after taking square root we get y is equal to plus minus b by a under root of a square minus x square where the positive y corresponds to vertices b and negative value corresponds to the vertices c. Now the base of the triangle is bc so the length of the base will be equal to the distance between the two points which is equal to 2y and the height is equal to the distance between point a and point d which is equal to a minus x. Now we have got the height and base so we can find out the area of the triangle which is equal to half of base into height. Substituting the values of base and height and then cancelling out the two we get area is equal to b by a under root of a square minus x square multiply by a minus x in bracket. Now to maximize the area we will differentiate area with respect to x. Here on the right hand side we have two terms in product so we will apply product rule differentiation. Now we know that derivative of under root of a square minus x square is half of 1 over under root of a square minus x square multiply by minus 2x. The minus 2x comes from the chain rule by differentiating minus x square. Similarly, derivative of a minus x is equal to minus 1. Now we can simplify this by taking the common denominator under root of a square minus x square giving us dA by dx is equal to b over a 2x square minus ax minus a square by under root of a square minus x square. Now we have to set dA by dx equal to 0 which means the quadratic equation 2x square minus ax minus a square is equal to 0. Now we will factorize this quadratic equation to get the value of x at which dA by dx is equal to 0. To factorize this we will replace minus ax by minus 2x plus ax and then take 2 common between the first and second term and a common between the third and fourth term and then taking x minus a common we get that 2x plus a multiplied by x minus a is equal to 0. This implies that x is equal to minus a by 2 or x is equal to a. Now x equal to a is not possible otherwise all the three points will be same. Hence x is equal to minus a by 2 is the only possible solution. Now substituting x equal to minus a by 2 in the formula of area we get that the area is equal to 3 root 3 ab by 4.